Hello, Eternal Church. Happy New Year. And uh, hopefully you're in good spirits and in good health. And um, you're moving into this new year with a renewed sense of purpose and direction. Um, it's an exciting year for Eternal, for sure. There's going to be a lot of transitions. Hopefully all of them uh, wonderful. We'll begin breaking ground this year, maybe in the next month or so. Um, and we'll start to see our church building uh, go up. And that should be exciting for all of us. Uh, if you were here Sunday, you also saw another new thing, and that was a new logo, and we handed those out to everybody who left as kind of a gift. Um, but I wanted to just take a minute and explain a little bit about that logo and just capture that so you can be even more excited about what we're doing. First of all, it's not unusual for a church or any organization to go through different uh, iterations of the same logo, transforming them and changing them. And so I just wanted to show you that we've done that at Eternal actually every six years so back in 2004, I want to show you the original logo, and you'll see a triketra, that's the name of this uh, symbol here, and a circle, which represents eternity and eternal church. That was the original. Six years later, that was old, needed to change it, and we came up with this one. So you see the lines got a little thinner, got a little more modern, but then in 2016, that looked dated. And so then this is, was our last one. So. This was our new logo in 2016, and you see that, and of course you see the triketra, and what we did was we emphasized the fish. The reason why is because we had a lot of people um, in uh, newcomers gatherings and membership classes say, why the name Eternal Church? It's kind of an odd name, and why this symbol? Because many of us know this, this symbol predates Christianity, and so it's been used as a pagan uh, worship symbol. And so we wanted to kind of get ahead of that a little bit and make sure we were emphasizing the Christianity in it, the, the fish. And, of course, we also said you have three uh, corners here, three leaves representing the Trinity. And, of course, the, the word eternal, eternity, because this line never breaks out of itself. It just keeps moving. And so we got into this uh, new year, and we said, well, it's time again. Take a look at our logo. And so we did, and we made more changes than we thought we were going to make. And that's because as we sat around as a creative team, we said, how do we begin to incorporate not just who we are, meaning our name as a church, or that we're Christians, but who we are at our core, what, we're, what, what we really believe and where we're headed. And so, I know this is going to be crazy. It doesn't look anything like the old, but this is our new logo. But I wanted to show you that and explain again so you can be excited about why we did this. So, what we wanted to do is emphasize the core of who we are, our, our four coordinates. Truth, worship, community, and witness. And you see those now in our logo right in the middle. We have four squares at the core of our logo we have our four coordinates. Also, we love the idea of three, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and the Trinity, and that's represented in the three lines. We also like the idea of communicating eternal church, and so we kept the circle. Eternity keeps moving around. But one thing we wanted to change, and I hope you see it as well, is this idea that we're not just caught circling ourselves internally. And so, as you can see in this logo, we've now captured the idea that people are moving into the church, into the coordinates, and moving back out again. They're moving into the church building and then leaving the church, going out into the world to be the church. And you see those lines that are moving outside of the church into the world to be salt and light. One other thing, obviously, is the cross of Jesus Christ, which represents really the core of all of Christianity, but certainly who we are at Eternal, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so those are the changes. Those are why they were made. Hopefully you can get excited, not just wondering, well, why a new logo and why that? Now you can actually communicate to your friends and family what these symbols mean for us and where it's taking us. It's not really a big deal. We think this will be great for the next 20 years, and then there'll be some young kids on staff who say it's old and dated and stupid, and they'll change it, and that's okay. But um, uh, we're excited about it, and we hope you are too. Um, before we close, I just want to, um, if you'll let me, give a send a prayer to God for our community in the new year. Um, pray with me. Father, thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you're doing in our midst. We know this year will be a change of transition and transformation in our church and uh, old things leaving us and new things coming to us. And those are not always comfortable. But we pray that in all of those changes that we are glorifying you and giving you the glory so that our community can see a unified body who really care about who you are and who you say we are. So thank you, Father, for that opportunity.
be with us as we go into the new year this year. Cover our congregation, cover our church, cover our people with your grace, your glory, hedge of protection. Uh, keep us healthy and safe and keep us on our mission to be light and salt in our world around us. Thank you, Father. It's in your name I pray. Amen.